probably the least, one of the last, least staff tournaments in the summer of the last Uh, during the school year, I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. Because last year, it was most of the time, it would have been like in December on the Christmas break. Like, less than 20 people, occasionally more. During the spring, it was like especially low. But, you know, now the lab has a lot more traction, and this is way better. So, I'm not quite sure how it go. I can see it either keep it staying strong, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure lots of other high school kids are gonna not make it. Because that's the main difference on this, is that once summer started, people are more close to my show before. And I was always the only one. Yep, I got you, Pappy. Is up, back so at it again. Winner plays Bob. It's wait, who is it again? Is it in Grand? Is it in Grand? It is Dimension and uh, Metal yeah, Reaper yeah, okay. waiting at the end of this set, this best of five and losers finals. Uh, let's talk about these two teams. I'm not really sure the team comp, like how good it is between Sheik and Peach. You got anything to? She can. I don't really know about that, but I'd imagine, even though it's super, you know, Valko's generally not developed in teams at all, but I'd imagine he works with Sheik pretty well because he can. You know, they both have really fast vertical movement. Mm -hmm. and can if you shine them in the one v one, especially in this match, if you shine the other Sheik and the Peach isn't there, you can combo her, team combo her for like a lot of percent real yeah. quick. While Peach is just trying to get back. Yeah, the the really easy option here is to isolate the Peach and kind of leave her in her own space and just go after the Sheik. 2v1, not yeah. a lot that she can do about it. Yeah, especially with uh, Valko and... Ah, uh, God. Here, what happens? Yeah, getting stage spiked by that uh, yeah, down. Yeah, so you go for the risky yeah. double jump option and then you get that. Yeah. Should be... That's not an easy tactic because he wasn't recovering. That's like... Eh, you would have to, like, preemptively... Eh, do this option select air dodge or something. Mm, I gotcha. Uh, oh my god, 53. Uh, I mean, what's uh, what's interesting about the choice of characters for green team is that off of each other's grabs, they really can't do a hell of a lot in terms yeah, of their static grab. Yeah, uh, F throw takes a while for the knockback growth to kick him. Yeah. And even then, it's like usually flying too hard to be worth trying to combo off of. But they're Back too... Yeah. Large, uh, they're two characters with very large aerial hitboxes and Sheik fairly fast ones, so they actually combo yeah. together well. All you have to, yeah, all you have to watch is Ramada Android and they pass them back and forth. Oh yeah, that's right. Combo them across the stage. Oh, goes Ooh, for a down tilt. So, Alright. Yeah, that was super. Expensive. See, down tilt is always better than down smash when you know yeah. it will hit. Yeah, just a nice pop up. You can combo, More your teammate can combo. Especially when you're playing Sheik who can jump out after getting down smashed. Yeah. Uh, landing a down tilt means big damage. So game one to green team, Brog and Weedle, falling very early in the winner's bracket to Arkyle and the player known as Fridge. Uh, he's like some rad scuba dude or something. Yeah. And uh, me seeks and Tempest coming down from winner's finals. Game. Oh, this is, no way this is a touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, well. and Brog was trying to not let him get that yeah. one out. But game yeah. two going to FD. Hit a little. Get about 22% for that down B. You know, in teams, not too bad. 20%, yep. I mean, it kind of stings, but you don't really lose much. Yep. Uh, yeah. So this is... Singles, you can lose a stock it. quite easily. So, I Ray wonder... Oh, that was such a good combo by Tempest. Yeah. Read the tech roll both times. And uh, confirmed with a laser F smash, right? With no yeah. jump, like it was aerial. I haven't seen him play much, but I've really been liking Tempest. Tempest is very good. It reminds me actually kind of a my Valco, even though he's, he's more patient. Tempest or your Falco? Uh, Tempest. I was about to say, I don't but think you play a single patient character in no. the game, Ozzy. Uh, working on that more. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, that's wow. just for friendlies. Invincible Fair, I believe, is coming off that revival platform. Yeah, he does. Even though I'm generally pretty aggressive with Falco, Tempest is very methodical. Yes. I also like to play like a decently laser-heavy game, but I do get more aggro. 
But he I plays mean, the kind of PP game where it's lots of just well-placed shines and lasers. The only thing, I'm surprised he's not shine grab anymore. Oh yeah, you actually raise a good point. It, it's really interesting, when, when people play secondary characters, especially ones that they don't actively practice, uh, they usually just use the attributes that they hate the most. You yeah, know? Yeah. You play Falco, you laser a lot, you crouch cancel, you do all this stuff. You play Sheik, you just kind of sit in the back and needle. Yeah, but Tempest, there. even though he's like kind of on the same level as I imagine people like uh, Bad, some other non-PR Valkos, he's definitely not a Falco master. That's what really separates him, I think. I mean, I, I think, or no, I know that Tempest is actually really good at, uh, at Falco, at least in Fox Falco. As the only times I've ever taken sets off him is when he has done the Vikram, and that is SDing by side being off. Uh, by screwing up a platform yep. wavelength. Well, got a bit off top though, but it's a local. Yeah, with, with today's singles bracket, it would actually be super, super enjoyable to see how far Tempest goes. Mm. But let's close out at least this double set, losers yeah. finals. Okay, uh, solid lead, but extreme. What? Is he yelling at us? I don't think us. Ooh, no. gets up there, there back go. air. So almost okay. one stock apiece, but Weedle just living. Oh man, yep. living till the sun ah, goes see. down. see, he tried to edge go. Yeah, actually, she's up one eighteen. I think it's worth trying to get the fair there, but at the same time, Tempest isn't really winning this against Brog. Yeah. Oh, really gets scooped up with a regrab. See the Kelder, but now, now that. Yeah, he's at one fifteen. That's the Tempest wasn't really winning. I don't think he. I wasn't paying too close attention, but I don't think he was winning that one v one. Yeah, he got scooped up by an F tilt regrab, and then it was just all downhill from there. Just chased him across FD. A yep. couple dash attacks, forward air, forward air, and that was it. The rapid jabs! <laughs> Me seeks going in! Down, always, just every, nearly every character is crouch cancel down tilt it. Yeah. So like, uh, oh. so it's like I've tried to do shield DI in into like shine our shield and just crouch cancel down tilt. It gets him every time. Zelda? Oh, oh, is that Sour spot. Air? Oh, Sour Spot. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was thinking, like, wait, what? Oh, wow, double Nair. Yep, like you said, two meaty hitboxes. Yeah, they're, okay, both just these nair. characters' aerials, really good. Yep, so both the bears stay out forever. The only bad thing about it is that, you know, Peach can't really get there right away. But once they are there, they're going to rock up a ton of damage super fast. And with the nature of she can sort of hold opponents in a certain area until Peach is ready. You know, with the with their zoning tools and how, how she plays singles. That's actually another pretty interesting thing about at least this team, maybe not the composition, but at least how Brog and Weedle play their characters. Both very passive, very defensive. Mm -hmm. uh, wave dash back heavy platform for uh, platform shield drop for Brog and uh, just being Peach for Weedle. Yep. Uh, so they're really able to get a lot yeah. off of that. They don't look like they're trying to play the two 1v1 game right now. When you have a team with two players that's like solidly better than you, that's... Already, that's generally. Oh, I guess it, that's a good trade. Yeah, yeah, but Weedle's out there with the save every Ooh. time. Ah. Yeah, he's gonna be out there, and Misi just gets a weird air dodge. My God, gets clipped, doesn't see where he is. I uh, find it a little strange that they go back here, but is that yeah, that is because Misi's recovery is nerfed. Yeah, no platforms to recover to, and the same thing goes for Falco as well. His he doesn't have his side, side B mix-up yeah, going on. Yeah, side B ledge cancels. Like bro basically broken in teams. Same with Fox because of how fast it is. Yeah, and just instantly able to act out and get right into the heat of the battle. Uh, six yeah. stocks. Yeah, and also it makes five. like was that match guard? I'm not sure, but it makes Whittle have an easier time match guarding Falco too. Yeah. So down an entire stock. Six yeah. stocks to five. I don't think we're gonna be going back here, but. Yeah, maybe they're confident in something about this. I mean, if, if they bring this back, this will be the last uh, we'll see of FD. Yeah. But uh, they yeah. really got to make something work for him. Yeah, Brock held down there though. Yeah, remember when I was first starting to play? It's like I would try to do a Shino stall, and I had no idea what I was doing wrong for so long. <laughs> just let go down. Yeah, yeah, you just zip yeah. right past it. Four stocks to four. Yeah. Blue team bringing it back. Okay, they got. But this, easy. I feel All like they're fun. keeping them separated right now. They're not really. I don't think Tempest and B6 is, are, being, are just trying to play 1v1. Uh, but that's definitely what Brog and Weedle want. Yeah, and, and with them both being passive, it's very easy to overextend and try to press too many buttons in yeah. doubles. Uh, because you expect to keep, catch people off guard, but these two just prey on it all the time. Uh, blue team, I'm not uh, really sure what lead. they would need to do to fix it. Yeah, this know. is uh, a... Yeah. Yep. Alright, okay, that's something. Yep. Just, uh, Mashes out a jump and a float yeah. into all of his resources yeah. at once. But even then, I think the Sheik percent is in a way more important. It's nice if you can gimp uh, Peach real quick, mm -hmm. but neither of these characters can really do that. Especially not 
takes too long to set up the edge guard. Yeah. Uh, actually, we've got a bit of a slower knock going on here. Lots of percent. Okay. Right. No uh, reverse fair. Yeah, I think you have to do like. I'm not sure if it, it might have been too slow to do the dare edge guard there. Oh yeah, yeah, dare into whatever. It was I think you can buff bear though right after, it, and it's Peach, so you wouldn't have been able to punish. 3-0. Right. Quick. Last game took under three minutes. We have now yeah. have grand finals. Dimension Metal Reaper was, versus was that was like under ten minutes. Quick 3-0. Yeah, there was uh, not a lot of contest in that one. Mu very much like the uh, the LRA start out of your game. No contest. So we'll.